coming across his ball. Did well, the key defender. But they're still under pressure across half-back here, Port Adelaide. So Brisbane can regather his Soph Conway in a milestone game. This will be the perfect start for Brisbane and for Sophie Conway. And she's got it home for the opening goal. Hickey to back on the wing. Port Adelaide can move it forward. And free kick. And advantage is going to be paid. So Gemma Houghton could run in and kick Port Adelaide's opener. Wonderful vibe here at Alberton. Of course, Port Adelaide's first home game of the season. And they've come out in force, hoping to see an upset victory. All locked inside Brisbane's forward 50 at the moment. They're pressing. McKee jams it towards goal as she snuck it home. Her first goal in the AFLW. They're just uh, really up in their groove every time they get the footy. But, uh, um, yeah, Port just need to maybe play a little bit of tempo as we round out this quarter. Done. Gets the hand pass out. But here's Anderson for Brisbane. Can send it back to Cathy Svark, who bombs it towards the goal square. Is it going to bounce through? It will. Another goal to Brisbane. What happened up on the Gold Coast? Here's Cathy Spark trying to burst away, kick straight into McLaughlin, but they're surging through numbers again. Spark gives it off to Postlethwaite, kicks toward full forward. Davidson! Dakota Davidson didn't get the finish she hoped for in the opening term. This should be pretty regulation. That's the exact start Brisbane wanted to the second term. Just inside the 50, but too far from home, you'd think. Opens up the angle. Dangerous spot. Oh. Davidson again is doing whatever she wants inside 50. All Dakota Davidson has to do now is finish. And you know that she will. And there's that trademark celebration. Here's a chance. Houghton on the bounce. Kicks it towards goal, and it doesn't get the right bounce. Oh, it is unbelievable. The footy gods not in their favour. Ange Foley, though, can gather, and this time, there's no taking that one back. Around the body toward O'Day. Conway takes it off the pack again. O'Day lays a good tackle, not rewarded. Tie poked a little deeper here for the power. Houghton's up to meet it. Chance right along the boundary line. It's a superb kick. Julia T. McKee back to Postlethwaite. Bouncing ball inside 50. Mullins had a go. Here's Hodder. Pounced on it. Snaps towards goal. And Smith in the goal square. In the battle against Dunn. Just taps it to herself. Trying to keep it alive and does well in the end. And... Here's a chance for Spark to the goal square, and Davidson has another contested mark. Try and find Dakota Davidson, who was shoved out of the contest. That was a clear free kick. Ran straight into Borg. Does she go the talk again? After the last result, perhaps not, but there's no, there's no one at home. There's no one in the goal square at the moment, so... I feel like Dakota's that type of gal, she'd give it a go. So Davidson from right on the edge of the 50. It's a long kick, almost. Forget almost, oh. it's there. Oh, what a kick. So Sophie Conway in game number 50 started her day with a goal and she might cap it with one as well. Oh. Since then, Hampson in her club debut. Gets the kick out. Is it time for more? Doors breaking the lines. Sends him inside 50. And the key. Yeah, look, I, I, I feel like the depth of Brisbane's uh, midfield has been the key thing for me today. Taho streaming into an open forward 50. Slips the Campbell tackle and kicks the late goal for Port Adelaide. And the young leaders of this Brisbane side. A big win to Brisbane at Alberton. They beat Port Adelaide by 50 points.